and know that He is God, and there's no need to fight, for the battle is not yours, the battle is the Lord's. The battle is 
We now exalt in Jesus. Thank you for your presence in our midst this morning. We give you all the glory and praise, Lord. In Jesus' precious name, we worship. And let the saints say amen. amen. Let the saints say amen. You are welcome to God's presence. In Jesus' precious name. I want you to know that God has something special for you. The presence of God has been palpable in our midst this morning. It is feelable and there is a reason for it. I want you to know that you will ne never leave here the way you came. We welcome every one of you online that are watching us. Stay connected to this service. Stay connected to the end of this service. And your life will never remain the same. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Are we going to go? Psalms 45, verse 7. Hebrews 1 9. Righteousness and hatest wickedness. Therefore, God, thy God, and anointed thee with the oil of gladness above thy fellows. Hebrews 1 9. Thou hast loved righteousness and hated iniquity. Therefore, God, even thy God, and anointed thee with the oil of gladness above thy fellows. The month of March is our month of the fragrance of favor. Yesterday, we saw the part one of it. The fragrance of favor, part one, dash the oil of favor, part one. The fragrance of favor, part one, dash the oil of favor, part one. Yesterday, we came for anointing service. We saw the part one of it. This morning is the fragrance of favor, part two, dash the oil of favor, part two. Yesterday, I told us that the oil of gladness that the Bible speaks about refers to the oil of favor. Thou lovest righteousness and hated wickedness. Hebrews said, hated iniquity. Therefore, thy God, even thy God, had anointed thee with the oil of gladness above thy fellows. So, favor is the oil of gladness the Bible is talking about. I pray for you that this month. March 2024, the favor of God will pursue you, the favor of God will overtake you in the name of Jesus Christ. Yeah. Favor is sweet, favor is good, favor makes you to live the life of ease. Favor keeps your perpetual joy. Hallelujah. May God give you favor this morning. May God give you favor this month. May God give you favor this month. May the oil of favor come upon you in the name of Jesus Christ. We are continuing from yesterday. We saw two secrets for the oil of favor yesterday. We saw two secrets. Number one, secret for the oil of favor is love righteousness. Psalms 45 verse 7, Hebrews 1 9. Love righteousness. Thou lovest righteousness. Hebrews 1 9. Thou must love righteousness. You must love righteousness. For you to be able to trigger the oil of favor upon your life. The oil of favor 
is meant for the righteous. It is not meant for sinners. You must love righteousness for you to be able to trigger the oil of favor upon your life. Yesterday we saw ten examples of people in the Bible who love righteousness and were anointed with the oil of favor. We saw ten of them yesterday. We are not going to that. So if you must enjoy the favor of God, you must love righteousness. You must do away with anything that is not righteous. If you check through the scriptures, all the people that enjoyed favor from God were men that love righteousness. In Daniel chapter 1, verse 8 to 9, what Daniel proposed in his heart that he would not divide himself with a portion of the king's meat. And he was brought into favor in verse 9. He was brought into favor. God brought him into favor because he chose not to defy himself. When people begin to love righteousness, they attract the favor of God. We are living in a days where righteousness seems to be very scarce. We are living in a days where it is difficult for people to live righteous. God only favors the righteous. Psalms 5 verse 12 For thou Lord will bless the righteous with favor will that compass him as we shield. Righteousness is the trigger for the oil of favor. If you want the oil of favor to be evidential in your life, righteousness is a necessity. Wherever you are found, let righteousness be found. Wherever you are seen, let righteousness be seen. It is a trigger for the favor of God. The Bible told us in Genesis 37, verse 2, that Joseph brought the evil report of his siblings to the father. In verse 3, the father made him a coat of many colors. That's favor. In Genesis 39, verse 30, 21, the Bible says Joseph was in favor with the keeper of the prison because the Lord brought him into favor. The Lord showed him mercy and gave him favor. So when you live righteous, you attract the favor of God upon your life. Unrighteousness scares away favor. God only puts the oil of favor upon the righteous. Righteousness pleases God. The Bible says righteousness exalts a nation. God loves righteous believers. God hates unrighteous believers. The things we do outside the church matters a lot. The things we do in our homes matters a lot. The things we do wherever we go matters a lot. Even in the marketplace. Let righteousness be seen. He said, let your light so shine before men. Let it so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father, which is in heaven. Matthew chapter 5, verse 15 and 16. We need the light of righteousness. It is a trigger for the oil of favor. Are you understanding me? Number two, secret for the oil of favor. Hate wickedness or iniquity. Hate it. We saw all these things yesterday. Hate wickedness or iniquity. Hate it. Don't love it. Don't love it. Don't love it. Hate it. Hate it. Where you are taking pride, hate it. Where people are living immoral life, hate it. Hate it. You may love the people, but hate that immoral lifestyle. Hate that bribery lifestyle. Hate, hate that corruption. Hate it. You must hate wickedness or iniquity. In Psalms 45 verse 7, Hebrews 1 9, thou lovest righteousness and hated wickedness. Psalms 45 9 says wickedness. Hebrews 1 9 says, You hate iniquity. If you hate wickedness, hate iniquity, you will attract the favor of God. I 
Hallelujah. One day, Israel misbehaved and they began to commit immorality. And God, the judgment of God came and God killed about 24 of them. In a sweat, He killed them. They were in the process of that prayer. Moses was begging God for mercy on behalf of the people. A man carried a woman and was publicly doing it together. And Phineas carried a javelin and pierced him through. He pierced the man through to the woman. He slew them. And God told Moses, So Phineas has turned away my robes. I was in love with him. God is in love with people that hate wickedness. People that hate iniquity. God is in love with them. If God loves you, He touches you, He saves you. He was hate wickedness. Don't celebrate wickedness. Don't celebrate wicked people. Don't celebrate iniquitous people. Hate it. We saw Daniel 1, verse 8 to 9. Daniel hated what the people were doing. The people were compromising, eating the king's meat, drinking the king's wine. And Daniel proposed in his heart that you will never eat. They said, what if you appear before the king looking malnourished? Will the king be angry with us that we didn't feed you? He said, no. Give me a few days. Just feed me with vegetables. Just give me a few days. Let me be on vegetables. And when he appeared and his colleague, they were ten times better than the people that were loving and wickedness and iniquity. The Bible said they were ten times better than them. And the Lord took them into realms of understanding of visions and he gave them wisdom. And they understood all science. They came into favor with God because they decided that they would not define themselves. He proposed in his heart. David said, The Lord have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against you. Thy Lord have I hid in my heart I mean, that I may not sin against you. Shekra, Meshach, and Abednego were asked to bow before the image of the organizer. If you don't bow, you will be thrown into the fire. And the fire had been heated several times. In that mostly the corrupts. They didn't plan it. They didn't sit and have meeting. They said, we are not careful to answer you in this matter, O oh king. We are not careful to answer you in this matter, O oh king. If you like, throw us into the fire. We will not bow. And they threw them in the fire. And Jesus. The fourth man was in the fire. He was hit with wickedness. He was hit in iniquity for you to enjoy the oil of faith. Nobody should pray in the name of any God in the next 30 days. The prayer must be made in the name of King Darius. If anyone is God praying in the name of the God of heaven, will be thrown into the den of lions. Daniel chapter 6. The Bible said when Daniel understood that the decree was signed, he opened his doors and windows and knelt down to pray three times in a day. Morning they will come and meet him praying. Afternoon they will come and meet him praying. Evening time they will come and meet him praying. You must hate wickedness. You must hate iniquity. A church member coming to church, going to a witch doctor, you don't hate iniquity. You don't hate wickedness. You must hate wickedness or iniquity for you to attract the oil of favor upon your life. I want to show you seven things the oil of favor will do for you. Seven things the oil of favor does. Number one, it makes you blessed. We are summarizing 
so that I'm having ministration somewhere this morning. It makes you blessed. You can't carry favor without being blessed. It's not possible. Genesis 27, 27. When you carry favor, you carry the blessing. When you carry favor, you carry the blessing. When Jacob gave Isaac venison that Esau was supposed to give. The Bible says when Isaac finished eating, he came near and kissed him. And he smelled the smell of his ramen and blessed him and said, See the smell of my son is as the smell of the thing which the Lord had blessed. The favor of God came upon him and the blessing of God followed. So the favor of God makes you blessed. It moves you from a popodia into a minonia. It makes you blessed. The oil of favor is synonymous with God's blessing. Psalms 5 verse 12. Favor confirms the blessing of him. Jacob became blessed. He became blessed. We are coming back to that scripture. Psalms 5 verse 12. For thou Lord will bless the righteous. With favor will not compass him as with a shield. This is favor and blessing plus protection. For thou Lord will bless the righteous. With favor will thou compass him as with a shield. So the oil of favor attracts the blessing of God upon the carrier. You need the oil of favor. I pray for you that this month the Lord will put it upon your head. Yeah. When you carry favor, you don't depend on your business for your survival. You don't depend on your salary for survival. You don't depend on the proceeds from what you do to be able to survive. Favor will be pursuing you here and there. Favor. I'm just seeing the glimpse of it. Just glimpse, 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 glimpse of it. Praise God. God is ushering it into me. Ushering us into me properly. I pray for you. In this month of March, you shall enjoy the favor of God. The fragrance of favor shall be your portion. In the name of Jesus. Number two. The oil of favor does. It gives you a joyful heart. The oil of favor gives you a joyful heart. <laughs> favor is sweet. When it is on you, you are joyful. You are joyful because of the favor. Proverbs 27 verse 9. It gives you a joyful heart. Ointment and perfume rejoices the heart. So quite the sweetness of man's spread by heightened counsel. You rejoice by the virtue of favor. Favor makes you joyful. When you move from favor to favor, favor to favor, you are permanently joyful. Hallelujah. It is true that what the rich has is no challenge, but I'm telling you, most often than not, the rich are always joyful. The prosperous are always joyful. The favored are always joyful. You have me catch them from me. By the virtue of what they have in them. So they will always, it was with uh, Mike Mudo, and Mike Mudo told you. He said, I've stayed with you for so, so, and so time. And you said, praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. About how many times? He was counting it. So look at the number of times you said, praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Who will be in that realm of favor? I hope he says so. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> they are permanently joyful. I pray that God will make us to experience it also. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In Psalms 45 verse 7, thou lovest righteousness and hatest wickedness. Therefore, the Lord thy God, even thy God, has appointed you the oil of gladness. Gladness. Oil of, oil of joyfulness. Psalms 45 7, Hebrews 1 9. The oil of gladness. 
it makes you, it gives you a joyful heart. You're always joyful. Number three thing, the oil of favor does is that it changes your spell. Genesis 27, 27. The oil of gladness changes your spell. And say, see the smell of my soul as the smell of the field which the Lord had blessed. Prior to that time, the smell was not like that. When Jacob disguised himself to collect the blessing of Esau, the Bible says that Jacob and uh, Isaac said, the voice is the voice of Esau. But the hand he, he was feeling his hand. The, the, the hand, I mean, the voice is the voice of Jacob, but the hand is the hand of Esau. And he asked him, Come near. By the time he got near, God changed his smell. You know, there are people that have a particular smell. That when you smell them, you know their smell. Somebody was, they blindfolded somebody and they brought some ladies. They asked him to indicate who his wife was among those ladies. And he moved and moved and moved and moved and moved and moved and moved until he came here and he began to smell the person and felt the person. And he said, This is my wife. Amongst how many women? God changed his man. And Isaac said, He came here and kissed him, and he smelled the smell of his heaven and blessed him. And he said, See the smell of my soul as the smell of the thing which the Lord had blessed. It changes your smell. I pray for you. I don't know how you are smelling before you came here. I see God changing your smell. In the name of Jesus. In Ecclesiastes chapter 10, verse 1. Ecclesiastes chapter 10, verse 1. The Bible says, Get flies, causes the ointment of the apothecary to send for the stinking sabbath. So when a little fall in him, that is repute, that is a reputation for wisdom and honor. Get flies. There are people that the devil has covered them with him. carcasses, corpses. Somebody died around uh, the road at least our area. And uh, the madman and the bomb began to swear. And of course, obviously, anyone that comes around that place will close the doors. And yesterday, the corpse was evacuated. There are people that are smelling like a corpse. They are smelling like the, the carcass of animals. The Bible said this one, his own was caused by death fly. It caused the ointment of the apothecary. The ointment of the apothecary is like an ink thing. The anointing oil that we bring from the church to anoint people. This is the anointing oil from the church, from the altar. Instead of it to bring forth a fragrance of favor, it was bringing forth a sticking sample, a stench. By the virtue of death flies. People sleep in the night. They must come around them and makes their atmosphere to be corrupted with bad smell. Some of these demons, when they come into your room, they come in with stench. Very dangerous one. At times, there are people that will perceive the smell in the dream and wake up and continue smelling it physically. That is the reason for lack of favor. That is the reason for lack of being liked by people. That is the reason for lack of money. That is the reason for lack of success in business. Because death life cost it. Death life cost it. It's, you are sending for a sticky cell. That is the reason for delay. Either delay in business or delay in manifestation or delay in the blessing. Death fly. 
is responsible for it. It make, it's making you to smell bad. You appear as an irritant. Nobody loves you. Nobody likes you. Everybody hates you. Put your hand on your head. Anything they put on your body that is making you to smell bad. Anything they put on you that when you enter into your shop, customers will not be coming. Businesses will not be thriving. In the name of Jesus, I am moving now in Jesus' precious name. Listen, by the mercy of God, if I step into your shop, if you are not making sense, you begin to make sense. I've encountered some of our brethren. I was in the shop with them. We sat down for some time. You know what I'm saying. Have you ever seen? By the time I left, come and see customers. I went to get something very close. By the time I came back, customers everywhere. Put it to me. I said, if I will be tomorrow, customers everywhere. We carry an atmosphere. God wants us to carry that atmosphere. That is why, why before you dedicate, before you enter your house, enter your shop. Let there be a mantle that will stand in there and come with God's presence and change the atmosphere for you. And you understand what I'm saying? It changes your spirit. Psalms 45, verse 8. Look at what it says. All thy garments, all thy garments smell of man and alios and kesha out of the average places whereby it has made thee glad. Psalms 45, verse 8. All thy garments, all, all thy garments, everything, every clothes you have. Begin to smell sweet. Listen, it is good to apply perfume. Hello, Balila, uh, how do you call them? Network. It's good to apply perfume. You smell sweet physically, but the one you need most importantly is the one God puts on you the oil of faith, the fragrance of faith. Are you understanding me? I pray for you. May the favor of God change your smell in the name of Jesus. May the oil of favor change your smell in the name of Jesus. Number 14, the oil of favor does is that it makes you the desire of all. It makes you the desire of all. You become desired by all. Go to any office, they like you. Go to any place, they like you. Go to any ministry, they like you. Go to any organization, they like you. Because there is something that makes you likable. You become the desire of all. Are you understanding me? Everybody just like you. There is something in you that is compelling them to like you. Songs of Solomon, chapter 1, verse 3. Songs of Solomon, chapter 1, verse 3. Because of the ointment, because of the savour of that good ointment, because of the smell, the savour of that good ointment, thy name is as ointment, what fault? Therefore, do the virgins love thee? Wherever your name is mentioned, everyone will love you. Do you know that there are names that open doors? There are names that give jobs. There are names that give connections. Because of the sorrow of the good white man, thy name is as white man, what fault? Therefore, do the virgins love thee, desire thee. Love you, and when people love you, they bless you. When people love you, they celebrate you. When people love you, they honor you. It makes you the desire of all. Everybody will desire you. Peter will be carries this man to the body of God. Peter will be he carries this man to. Have you ever seen since Nigeria became a nation that a presidential candidate, any 
anywhere he steps into, whether in a church or in a corporate gathering, immediately he is spotted or his name is mentioned, you hear people screaming and shouting. And the moderator, the person I'm calling this program, will be trying to stop him. I mean, stop the people. No way. It happened in Dunamis when he went to Dunamis Church. Before they could stop the crowd from shouting, it took time. It happened in Redeems. Well, it happened in Limited. Wherever he went during the campaign. Now look at it. Even after the election, there was a day they went somewhere with the governor of uh, Adam State, Professor Solomon. And they celebrated the governor, the sitting governor. But when it was Peter this time, the cheering crowd continued without stop until me myself I began to feel for the, the governor, the sitting governor. They cheered him. They were clapping and shouting. The World Cup that concluded last month, Africa Cup of Nations, sorry. When we were playing semi finals, he was there. After the match, after we won South Africa, the whole crowd began to cheer and shout, Kelere <laughs> Kekobi. The vice president was there. Shetiba uh, was there. Nobody mentioned him. Or Tinubu, everybody was Obi. Both the players and the football fans, everybody was shouting, Obi, Obi, Obi. Even during the campaign, there was a time it happened. They brought a musician you know, to come and uh, sing. During the campaign of APC, I think that happened in a private state also. And, and the man was singing, Helen K. Obi. It was a mantle that God placed on him. That makes him to be desired by God. Listen, should there be another election? I'm telling you, he will be the president of this country. He won the election. We are on life side. He won it. God was manipulated. They sort of changed him. But God, the way it happened to Alex Moti, 2015, it was clear that he won. 2019, it was clear that he won. But someone sat on his seat. And 2023, they wanted to continue sitting. God said, man, it is time for my son to take over the state. And I'm telling you, nobody is 100% perfect. But this one that we are seeing, not up to a year, the achievements on ground, it deserves to be celebrated. Are you understanding me? I pray for you. May God cause you to be desired by all. In the name of Jesus, all through this month, all through this year, be the desire of God. In the name of Jesus. Number five thing, the oil of ever does, is that it sets you above everyone. Psalms 45, 7, Hebrews 1, 9. Thou knowest righteousness and hate wickedness. Here for the Lord thy God, even thy God had anointed you with the oil of gladness above, above thy fellows. It sets you above everyone. When you step into the office, it takes you up. In the family, you are not the first child, but the oil of favor takes you up. In the marketplace, it takes you up. I see God taking somebody here up. You are going up by favor. You are going up by favor. But promotion does not come from the north, from the south, or from the west. It comes from God. God is a righteous job. He is the one that brings one down and takes up another. God is taking you up in the name of Jesus. You are going above your fellows in the name of Jesus. You are going above your siblings in the name of Jesus. You are going above your contemporaries in the name of Jesus. It takes you above all. And you shall be above all it. Takes you and move on. You are just up here and cannot be brought down by any man. May the oil of favor come upon your head in the name of Jesus. The sixteen, the oil of favor does is that 
it makes you the center of attraction. When you carry the oil of favor, you become the center of attraction. Songs of Solomon 1 3. You become the center of attraction. All eyes on me. Because thou lovest righteousness. Sorry. Uh, because of the summer of the good ointment, thy name is as white men poured for thee upon the veil is desired. You become the center of attraction. You become the center of attraction. Everybody looks up to you. You become the center of attraction by the virtue of God's favor. There is nothing as sweet as you becoming the center of attraction. Amen. It's just like having some fleets of cars. Maybe five, ten amongst them. There are those that are centers of that are like center of attraction. In our compound, we have cars, several cars. Amongst them, there are ones that are net on us. They drive past, everyone will look at them. That's what I'm talking about. There are estates that are like center of attractions. There are humans that are like center of attraction. That is what the favor of God does. It makes you the center of attraction. Finally, number seven. It makes God's angels to put on you the oil of favor. When you carry favor, the angels will be at, at your command, at your service, two for seven. To make sure that oil is on your head, two for seven. Hebrews 1 14, Psalms 1 verse 3 verse 20. They are on, at your command to minister oil of favor on your head. All thy garments. Hebrews 1 14. Are they not all ministering spirits sent forth to minister for them who shall be heads of salvation? Are they? It's talking about the angels. In verse 7, you will see it there. He makes his ministers flames of fire, his angel spirits. And in verse 14, he says, Are they not all ministering spirits? Self forth to minister for them who shall be heirs of salvation. One of the administration is to administer the oil of favor on your head. And then it will be on your garment. All your garments smell of man. They are the ones putting it. Hebrews 47, uh, here in Psalms 14, 5 verse 8. All thy garments smell of man. They are the ones putting the oil on your garment. They are the ones putting the oil on your head. They are ministering spirit. They are under instruction, under obligation to put on you the oil of faith. Are you with me, church? Psalms 1, verse 20. Psalms 1, verse 20. Bless the Lord, ye his angels, that excel in strength, that do his commandment, hearkening not to the voice of his word. They do God's commandments. They hearken unto the voice of God's word. They are under obligation, under instruction to make sure that you carry the oil of faith. He said, concerning the work of my hands, command you me. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I command the angels of God today to begin to administer the oil of favor upon your life. From now till the end of this week, and the end of this month, as you sleep, as you go around, may the oil of favor be administered on you by the angels of God in the name of Jesus Christ. May they put it on your business. May your bank account be touched by it. In the name of Jesus, I declare you blessed.
have been blessed by this broadcast. For prayer, counseling, and partnership, call 08050833649. And worship with us at Christ Winners Bible Church Worldwide Incorporated, 41 Okigwe Road, 2nd Floor, Aba, Abia State, Nigeria. You can join us on any of our weekday services, Wednesday, Miracle Service by 5 p.m., Sunday, Celebration Service by 9 a.m., last Friday of the month, Miracle and Testimony Nights by 9 p.m., First Saturday of the month, Oil of Favor and Protection Service by 6.30 a.m. Come and be blessed.